I decided to become a spokesperson for LEARN because I developed lymphedema after my double mastectomy. And prior to that, I knew someone who had lymphedema in their left arm. And I saw the effects of lymphedema when it's untreated. So I thought that lymphedema meant having a swollen arm with oozing skin, and it scared the hell out of me. So when I went to talk to my doctor, I said, please don't take any lymph nodes. Please be careful. I don't want any taken if they don't need to be taken. And erring on the side of caution, uh, I can't malign my doctor because he's out there on the front lines of, of trying to cure cancer, and that's his main objective. But he took a few more lymph nodes on my left side, which turned out to be exactly the same arm that um, this friend of mine had. And I just flipped out. I just went nuts. And um, I could feel in the hospital things happening in my hands and my arms, and I thought, this is it. It's starting to happen, I can feel it. And um, afterwards, I, I thought, well, where am I gonna go to get help? And it took a while to find Dr. Emily Eicher, who works out in Santa Monica, and I went to see her, and I was very upset about everything, and, and she was wonderful. You know, she said, all that's in the past, and um, she said, now you're gonna begin, you have a glass of champagne, you're gonna begin the rest of your life, and she had patients that were 105, you know, who had been living with lymphedema for quite a while. And so I felt better, but it's still, I don't know if, it's a pain to live with it every day, and, and mine is very mild, really, compared to a lot of other people who deal with this every day. But having to constantly find a PT, if I'm working in a different town, and I need help, and I don't know who to call, um, it's, it's difficult, and if I don't take care of it myself, then my arms do begin to hurt and they do begin to swell. And so basically, I'm mad as a wet hen. <laughs> and so I want to do something about this. And I don't know if any research uh, that we can do will help me finally, but I do want to help people out there who are suffering with much worse cases of lymphedema than mine. I just feel very passionate about this and um, and I'm, I'm proud to be working on it. And my dream someday is to go to Congress and have a chamber full of people who are suffering from lymphedema stand up in front of that committee and say, we have lymphedema, we are suffering, please help us. And I wanna be there with them to add my name.